so the university is accredited, but we're also accredited uh, by the ACBSP, which is a specific business accreditation for business schools. So first talk about the accounting major. The other professor here is Dr. Uh, Matt Mize. Um, he is an attorney by profession, and he and I primarily teach um, all of the accounting courses. Um, I teach most of the upper level courses. He teaches principles, auditing, and so forth. 95%, uh, on average, 95% of our accounting students have a job offer in hand before they graduate. Um, last year was 100%. So 100% of our accounting graduates, when they walk across the platform, they already had their job offer in hand. We also work with our students in order to meet the 150-hour rule. Most states have a 150-hour credit requirement in order to sit for the CPA exam. So we work with each student on how they want to accomplish that. Do they want to get it done in four years? Do they want to go on and get their 124 here and then go on and work on a master's? What do they want to do? Our CPA exam pass rates higher than the national average. Um, and many opportunities for internships, um, semester-long internships. So let me talk just a little bit about that. The accounting internship that we offer, it's not required. All of our majors do require an internship, but for our accounting majors, we provide them the opportunity to do a full-time internship in public accounting, where they're gonna work 40 to 50 hours a week, spring semester of their junior or senior year. Uh, so I've got several students gonna be doing that this next semester, and I asked one of them the other day as we were meeting and talking about their experience. I said, well, what, what are you gonna make next uh, spring per hour in your internship? So this is a junior, accounting student. He said $28 an hour for the first 40 hours and $42 an hour after the first 40. I said, well, that's pretty good. <laughs> I may sign up for that. Uh, but so that kind of gives you an idea um, of that. We also have uh, job fairs. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. We collaborate with Grace University up in Winona Lake. So in the fall, in September, Grace hosts an accounting job fair. So it's Grace, Trine, St. Francis, Goshen, Bethel, and Indiana Wesleyan University. So we all go to Grace with our junior and senior accounting students, sophomores as well, and some of the top public accounting firms in the United States attend that event. So it gives our, our students an opportunity to interview with those firms in the fall. And then in the spring, here coming up in February, the first full week of February, we host at Indiana Wesleyan University here on this campus what we call Meet the Firm Night. We invite those same firms to come to Indiana Wesleyan, those same university, bring their accounting students as well. And it gives our students an opportunity just to get to know these various firms. So we will talk with the recruiters, managers, partners. Many of the firms are represented by our former students. Our business administration major, I want to introduce to you Dr. Jen Ha Lee. Dr. Lee has just been with us here a couple of years. Um, she has two PhDs. One of those is in hospitality, uh, is in tourism science, and the second is in retail, hospitality, and tourism management. So she really brings some unique perspectives and unique education uh, into our program. So the business administration major, how many of you are interested in double majoring in something? Anybody? Okay, maybe a few of you. The business administration major allows a student that wants to, let's say, major in one of these other areas that have been mentioned tonight and major in business and what they can do if they major in another area they can take 12 hours of their three or four hundred level courses from that other major and count that towards their 12 hours that's required of three and four hundred level courses in the business program so it makes it a really unique fit for a student that wants to double major in ministry, psychology, uh, writing, Spanish, whatever the case may be. Uh, and that's been a part of our program for decades, and we find many students that it's very appealing uh, to them. I also teach our entrepreneurship and corporate innovation courses. We do have an entrepreneurship major. The primary focus of, of that is obviously helping students to start ventures, not just for-profit, but also not-for-profit. But the one thing that we want them to develop during their four years in the entrepreneurship program is an entrepreneurial mindset. That when they leave this university, that they can go into any organization 
And they're the ones that see, where everybody else sees chaos, confusion, discouragement, they see opportunity. That's just automatic for them. That's, that's the way they've been trained. And so that's kind of at the heart of that program. We also have what we call a grand in 60. Uh, we usually do this in the fall so students can provide a business pitch and they're judged by students in the crowd and judges. And if they win, they get $1,000. So it's kind of an exciting event. Uh, Dr. Michael Crawford is our finance professor, brings a lot of energy to the classroom. Believe me, if you ever have Dr. Crawford, he will, uh, again, he brings a lot of energy. So the finance major, students go one of two different directions with that. They can go into personal financial planning, wealth management. They can also go into corporate finance, where you're helping corporations manage cash, manage your funds, um, and, and investing, and, and so forth. We also allow students, our juniors and seniors, to attend what we call a Kingdom Advisor event in Florida. It comes up, I think, in January, early February, uh, where students attend this event. It's attended by financial professionals all over the United States. It gives them an opportunity to meet those financial, pro uh, financial professionals, interview potentially, make connections with those firms. Uh, and the whole focus of that event is helping helping finance professionals and students to see what God has to say about how we handle our finances. Not just individually, but in our businesses and our organizations. Dr. Lisa Neiman is our division chair. Um, and it has really been an honor to work with her. She has over 25 years of management leadership experience with Fortune 50 or Fortune 500 retailers. She's been at IW since 2007, and she's really provided excellent leadership to the DeVoe Division of Business. Our program has grown. Um, she has a passion for excellence, and I often see her meeting with students, trying to solve problems, helping them with their academics. Uh, it's, that's on a regular occasion. In fact, when I think about Dr. Crawford, Dr. Lee, Dr. Mize, that's our passion. Um, most of us, we could do a lot of different things, but we feel that God called us to Indiana Westland to teach in the business program and to help students and to prepare them for a time we may never see to get to do things we may never get to do. And that's really quite a privilege. Uh, we also have field trips um, and various uh, events like that. We bring in um, a variety of guest speakers so that uh, our students can get to know you, know, you start off with a major and you're thinking, okay, what's the job going to look like? I remember when, when I went off to a Christian college, first of all, I wasn't a Christian. I came to know Christ after I went to a Christian college because I had an accounting professor, an English comp professor, and a New Testament professor that invested in me and shared Christ with me. And it had such an impact on my life. And little did I know back then God was preparing me for even this time in my life and so we care about those care about those things professor Payne is our marketing professor how many of you know or have ever met professor Payne? okay I, I figured at least one or two of you had he has a real passion for marketing he comes to our program with corporate marketing experience he has a passion for students and i often again see him meeting with students in his office not just about scheduling classes and not just about helping them with their marketing classes, but also helping them with the spiritual issues of life. Again, we invite a variety of professionals into our classrooms so that students can get to know, get to know more about those various professions. And finally, I wanna talk about this idea of discipleship. As I mentioned at the outset, I want you to get a feel for who we are. If you come to the DeVoe Division of Business and you decide to study a major in our area, there's really three things that we focus on. Number one is your relationship with Christ. We know that young people come to a Christian college, they don't know the Savior. And if you don't, we welcome you, we want you there, but we're going to talk to you about the Savior and we want to see you come to know him. If you do know him, and I assume all of you in this room do, we want your walk with the Savior to be enhanced over the next three to four years. 
What does that look like? Am I prepared to enter my discipline? Regardless of what the discipline might be anywhere here on campus, am I prepared? The second area is your personal life. Now we're not gonna, I'm not gonna delve into your personal life in a real deep way, but we wanna help you to grow in your personal life, in your skill set. Do you, are your communication skills what they need to be? Is your emotional intelligence what it needs to be? How do you collaborate with others? What are your leadership skills? What are your critical thinking skills? How do you process things? We want to help you with that. And then finally, we want to make sure you're technically competent to handle the challenges that you're going to face when you step into that first job when you graduate. Because the employers are going to expect and demand a lot of you, and they do. I hear this from all of our graduates. Boy, the expectation's really high. So we want to make sure you're technically competent. So all three of those things. So we do take a discipleship approach to all of this. And, and you'll see these four items up here, advising, admission, division, internship, application for graduation. These are various points in time in which we meet with you. We meet with you as you do right now with your advisor. We meet with our advisees every semester, period. Non-negotiable, we will meet with you, we'll talk to you about your classes, but we're also gonna to talk to you about all those other things I just mentioned. The admission to the division, that's an hour-long interview. We talk to you about, you know, how are you doing? What are your plans for the next two years? What's your internship? What's your job? Where are you headed and so forth and, and the rest? All, again, all of our students um, are required to have an internship and so forth. So I know that's really a nutshell uh, picture of the devoted vision of business. We would love to talk with you, but one thing, one thing I want all of you to know, our desire is that you would pick a major that God wants you to pick. Would we love to have you do, devote a vision of business? Absolutely. But we want you where God wants you. And there's been some great majors and disciplines presented tonight. And if there's one thing I would ask that you do before you leave tonight, ask God, Lord, would you help me to know which one of these I need to pursue? Thank you, folks.